Sunshine locker, sun, sun tumble down town. It's a great honour for me as captain to accept this cup on behalf of the Glanton team. First of all, I'd like to thank all our players for the hard work they put in all through the year. It was hard work and it paid off today. I'd like to thank our selectors, Paddy Murphy and John Murphy, for great work all through the year. Thanks, lads. And uh, I'd like to thank Mass Murphy for keeping our field in great form all through the year for us. Also, I'd like to thank the referee, Mickey Sullivan, for a job well done today. And uh, now I'd like to give two cheers for Nakodera. It was a hard game, a great game, we enjoyed it. And uh, I'd just like to wish him well. So I'll give two cheers for Nakodera now. Hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hey! Thanks for the hey! yeah. I thought that they, they worked very hard, they all worked for one another. Uh, I'd say we can honestly say that every player they gave everything they had. I think the, the goal at the start of the second half really lifted the team. Uh, that they were determined in that they weren't going to go away out of here without the cup today. And uh, great credit to the parish. And I think that there's a county title on this way. They were very, very slow to settle, Jim. Well, there seem to be that way in most matches, but especially in the wet ball. Uh, one of the things that uh, I see from time to time is I can't get that drive into a wet ball and you could see that very evident today. Uh, then again, in the second half, the wind obviously had a bearing on it and uh, when, when they got the wind in their backs, they gave it plenty of height and, and got it back down into the square and the, 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 the scores came. Tom Murphy got some great scores him. Very good. Well, Tom, of course, has been the stalwart of the team right through the, 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 the year. And uh, some of his scores, he was held a bit early on, but I think that he was able to shake off his marker in the second half. And he opened up the defence and it made the opportunities for the other lads. And the indirect played a great man. How do you think about the veterans from 1980? I think that uh, there's another one of them still around and sure, with the help of God, they'll be back again. How was the Instead of it having the effect of lifting the Nakodari team, it, is the way it, it, it gave great heart to Glanton. Yeah. They were determined and that they were going to come back into it and that there was no getting away from that. It was the only score Nakodari got in the second half. That's true and it was very suspect one of that. Okay, thank you very much. I'm pausing for their photograph and great jubilation. The veterans in 1980. Coming right. He hopes to be in the Sunday World next week along with Paddy Quill. <laughs> team substitutes and supporters to go back. Oh, you were before the game, you were very anxious, you were smoking a cigarette. Congratulations. Still smoking it. Still smoking it. <laughs> what do you think of the game? It was a great game. It was very first, the first half was very hard, especially for our backs. They played brilliant stuff. Though. They kept them down to, you know, we were only four points down at half time. But then they came out and started the second half, they got a quick goal. I thought, oh, Jesus, here goes all over, last year all over again, we're going to lie down and lose it. But fair play to him, we pulled them back point by point and we eventually got the, the equalising score. And Tom Murphy's goal like, was as if God himself came down and stuck it in the back of the net for us. Tom, you switched positions there early in the first half. That was a, seemed to be a tricky cross-field breeze. It had a great impact in the freeze. It had. It was very hard to judge the freeze. Like, I went out to Neil Estero one time he was taking a free and I told him to hit it easier, not to go for his point, to drop it in the square rather than leave it go wide. He decided to go for his point and win wide. You know, it was very hard to judge him. And it wasn't easy for the free takers. Either. You were encouraging Tom Altro and the encouragement paid off. And this really great second yeah, half Tom performance. Tom Murphy had a brilliant second half, but he's done it all year for us. He scored one nine in the semi final for us. I mean, without him, we wouldn't have a Holland team. But without the vice Matt here, we wouldn't have a Holland team. But Tom Murphy was exceptional. He pulled us back today. I think he scored one four or one five again today. Yo, Tom, you're around. I'm <laughs> 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 it was a tough old game, but uh, we had a bit of luck in the finish, I think. That's, uh, that's what we wanted for us. I mean, that goal changed again. If we didn't get the goal, we probably lost the match. You know, as as that. Was it three points you got from playing the second half? I think three or four, one of the two, I'm not sure.
And how did the goal come about? Well, Tommy Knight pulled with the full back and the ball just happened to come across and I just happened to get the hold of it and just went to the corner and we couldn't believe it. I'm, I met you before the game, Tommy, Odin deep concentration. What are you contemplating and how to get the goal or how would Glenn would win the game? Well, I, I thought we were good enough to beat him, Mike, but um, just the surprise was there in the first half. I think it was looking very, looking very bad for us after getting the goal there. But uh, lucky enough, we, we came good in the end. That's all. In the questions, you might answer a few of them for us. <laughs> yes. What do you think of the game? I thought the game was good. The conditions were atrocious. Terribly, ter terribly in the first half. Trying to puck out the ball below against the wind, against the rain. The holidays were rich. It was impossible to drive the ball. But then I was looking forward to puck outs in the second half and I got none. Just, I think, only one, one or two puck outs. You made one great save there at the second half. I, didn't, I left in a soft goal. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the goal was the turning point of the game. The lads started hurling when they saw that goal going in. And what do you think of the performance of the half hour then? Uh, very good, excellent. I think the lads inside were struggling in the first half. Uh, but about five minutes ago, I was hoping for a draw, so that's the best we can hope for at this stage is a draw. And then it all came right in the last five minutes. It was like a dream. Congratulations. Seamus said before the game that if they won, you'd really be delighted. What does it feel like? Well, I tell you, it is a, it is a great feeling, really. In '83, I was actually a, a sub, and this year we were in management, I suppose you call it. But I was delighted for uh, all the boys in general, and especially my own young brother. His last words going to bed last night were, We're going to bring the World Cup tomorrow. <laughs> and I was really delighted. It gave great heart, you know. So, Tom Murphy has a limited Scalacci for the moment. Well, for us, he is anyway. <laughs> he has done the, done the very job we want him to do. We knew he would do it. I was very confident all the week, and uh, up to 10 minutes to go today, I knew we were still going to do it. We're trying to devise the click at the right moment, and they did it, thank God. He didn't look great in the first half, Joe. Was it nerves or was it slow to settle or what? Definitely. We, we always have nerves on the big day. We've been caught a few times, but uh, we wouldn't let him go and get this slip today, really. And Tom Murphy played a great part. Well, he's normally our king point in the, the forwards and we're reading. If he would uh, play well, the boys would play with him. Now, what are you worried in this stage during the game? I was I, I was worried at half time, but looking back in it, and even at half time, I realised coming here that only one score got from fair, and if uh, if that's all they could get, we were able to do better than that anyway. And the second half, they only got one score altogether? Yeah, they got a goal the second half, and uh, even at that stage, I wasn't particularly worried, even though. Uh, it took something to give out by as an injection, and I think that was the injection they needed. He seemed to be very, very fit all through. He finished by far the stronger. Well, we, we were very fit with uh, every game we played so far, really. We seem to be just edging forward with the last ten, ten minutes to go, and we don't put in terrible effort to train, but we made them hungry for the ball today. We didn't train for a week. But, uh, I was, I don't, can't hardly really recall the game. It was, it was too, too close for comfort anyway. That's for sure. I didn't, I didn't, th I didn't think we would make it in the way the game was going, especially when the goal went in there after the, the start of the second half. I thought we were gone. We were down some points, I think, at that stage. You were saying Thursday night that there was more spirit in Glenton this year than there was there for a while. Oh, there is, there is better spirit in Glenton this year. That is definitely. They, they have, they, like, we deserve to win this year because we, we, tried, out, we tried hard. And uh, that's one thing about the boys. Like, they always know what we told them. Like, if we took off one or anything, they, they never, they, no one ever complained to us. Because overall, Petty, it was a complete team effort. Oh, it was a complete team effort. And I'm glad like, for the boys that I did win it.